So today we're gonna make a beat in Pro Tools. Um, I have nothing prepped because it's been a crazy weekend, so we're gonna start everything from scratch. Let me tell you about my setup. It's very simple. I have Pro Tools on my laptop. I'm using an Akai MPK Mini for my MIDI controller, and I'm monitoring everything through an SSL too. Um, it's a cool little interface. For the price, this thing is pretty awesome. So anyways, that's my shameless pitch on that. Now, I'm gonna jump into Pro Tools pretty quick to get this video going. If you don't have any experience with Pro Tools and you're not comfortable with the interface yet, I made a video um, just to give you an overview of the basics of Pro Tools. I'll have a link above. Just click on the card, check out the video, get yourself orientated with Pro Tools, and then uh, that'll help out when you're making the beat in Pro Tools and understanding what I'm doing in Pro Tools. So to get started, I opened up a Pro Tools session and I just made a simple instrument track. I just called it Melody. I don't have any samples to pull from. I was too lazy to look for something. So we're gonna make something up right now and we're just gonna build from that. Okay, let's set up our tempo. I'm just gonna turn this guy off and we're gonna tap a tempo. I'm thinking something fairly slow, uh, maybe like around that 90 to 100 mark. If you're not sure what your tempo is, you wanna tap something, what you can do is just highlight the number in the metronome in this section here. Just, I'm gonna, I have it highlighted. And what I can do is I can tap it. One oh eight. Let's try that. Let's create a click track. You can go up here, track, create a click track. There we go. Click track set. Let's see how that's sounding. I'm just going to pull that up. Yeah, that feels fine. Let's start with that. I normally like to start off with a melody first instead of a drum groove, just because it kind of gives me a starting point, kind of gives me an idea of how I want to lay it on the kick. Um, and I just find it a little bit more inspiring. That's me personally. So I'm just going to play around with some effects in here. I'm using everything default that you find in Pro Tools. There's no third party plugins that you can't get for free through Avid. So um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go to instruments. Synth cell on the track. Okay, IDM one. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm also going to set a four bar groove. I mean, just actually, you know what? I'm going to make it an eight bar groove. We're just going to. So, if you want, if you have it in, if you right click here, oops, and then you have dynamic transport on, you can do some cool stuff. For example, I have eight bars selected, and I can grab this just by the middle and move it around. So, I have just an eight bar count in set up right here. Um, I tend to do it this way instead of using the count in because I find I can never perfectly get it on the one. This way, I have a little bit of play. And if I have to shift something, I don't cut anything off by accident. So, and from what I understand, that doesn't really matter. I think you can go back and fix it, but I just do it this way. Anyways, let's see if we can come up with some kind of melody or something. Okay, I'm not gonna overthink it right now. I'm gonna lay that down because that's something easy. It's in the key of A minor, which is just on your keyboard, all the white keys. But for now, I just wanna get that melody down so I don't forget it. Knowing me, I'm just going to quantize it just to tighten it up a little bit. Highlight it, hit Q. Now I have it set to eighth note, that should be good. Looks tight. Okay, I'm going to play it on loop. Let's go through some effects, see what we got. It's 
so here we go. Alright. Okay, let's stick with this one. Okay. Okay, so for the sake of time, I went through the different synthesizers we have in here and I found this cool ambient phone piano, which is in the PlayCell app, which is actually really cool. I just started playing with this one. It's a fairly new uh, plugin. This song is taking quite the dance turn, so let's just go with it. Play cell again. Something a little bit weird. Cloud series. Uh... Or something simple. Cool, let's quantize that. Give the systems a break. Quantize. Just for shits and giggles, let's run this through like a, I don't know, let's do a, let's try an arpeggiator, just for a second. Let's see what we got for this. Arpeggiator, chromatic guitar, bass. Do you have any arpeggio? I don't know if we have any arpeggio stuff in there. So let's go to, we'll go to play cell. Let's switch this up to, back to synth cell. See what kind of craziness this does. My job is done. Now that we have something that we can build from, let's get some drums going. Like I said earlier, I will build a melody first. I tend to like this better because that will dictate on what kind of groove I'm going to set in the drums. However, if you want to start with a drum groove, go for it. A lot of people do. It's just not how I like to do it. I like to do stuff like this, and then I can build drums and bass from there, and then I can always change stuff in the pads or the melody or whatever later. So anyways, uh, yeah, so for drums, I'm going to use good old Expand 2. I got audio, everything's good. I'm gonna go back to the Newell groove. That might be fun. Okay, Newell house. Oh, before I get into it, I'm gonna just build the kick first and then I'm gonna layer the snare. So what's important is that you have this merge function on in Pro Tools or else you'll just override everything. So just make sure that's turned on and we're just gonna play through and uh, just layer stuff. We're gonna start with a kick, snare, um, nothing crazy, just have a little fun with it. You know, here we go. Cool, I'm gonna quantize that. And it's out of snare. Is 
that. And then I'm going to layer that with a different snare sound too. ourselves a drum beat we can build from. I'm just going to go in here and the nice thing is I can go in here and I can add something so I'm just going to take a look at what's going on on that hi-hat groove if I look at it I'm actually gonna take this copy it right here there just so it's got cool all right bring that back down Uh, for bass, I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to go to... Let's go to synth cell again. I've been digging the synth cell today. Okay, I got something. Let's lay it down. that will work Anyways, that is a very simple way of creating a beat in Pro Tools. Um, this approach is a very high level approach. Like I said, I tend to start with melody first and work my way backwards to the drum just to kind of get a groove going. I don't fixate on the fine sounds and details yet. I find I see a lot of artists trying to get the perfect sound before they even start writing. In this case, don't get stuck in the low level weeds. Right now, I recommend just kind of use some sounds or something kind of sounds decent, start working with it. Start high level, create an arrangement very simply, and now I can go in there and I can fine tune. If you're using Pro Tools intro, this stuff is all there. So anyways, um, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Like I said, this was fun. Take care everyone.